All right, B, so you always talk about how leadership is a um, high income skill, and especially you you highlighted that for the upcoming year, the people should focus on how to become a better leader. Yeah. Um, they could be kind of broad. So what are some some things or, you know, positions or whatever people should actually focus on to become a better leader? And yeah. Make more? Yeah, because it, it, it's true. You're right. Leadership is a very broad statement. There's so many elements to great leadership. But what are the elements of leadership that can actually make someone in high demand to be hired, right? So let's use Bryce. So I'm the creator and founder of Fit Body Bootcamp, and I was also the CEO of Fit Body Bootcamp for many, many years until the last, what, three, four years, Bryce stepped in as the CEO of Fit Body Bootcamp. Why do I believe he's a great leader for Fit Body Bootcamp? One, he understands my vision, so he knows how to take my vision and speak it, communicate it into our team, and then hold the team accountable to execute on the vision. Mm -hmm. So one, a great leader has the ability to understand the visionary's vision and then translate it into an outcome. Like that is, so you can't just be like, well, you know, I know how to make, how to, how to create a great culture. And so mm -hmm. we have pizza Fridays and, and we have jumping jack Mondays and all that shit. Well, that's, that's all fantastic. You do want good culture, but can you take the vision that I have in my mind's eye and translate it into an outcome by using the people that we have as employees to get the job done? If so, then you know how to lead people well. And that is a byproduct of great communication. That is a byproduct of learning how to hold people accountable. That is a byproduct of seeing like, uh-oh, Pedros has a vision of Fit Body Bootcamp, but there's a skill set that's missing in our team. Hey, can we hire someone who has that skill set or can we develop someone that has the skill set that we need to bring B's vision to life, mm -hmm. right? And so the ability to develop people, right? Because as the company grows, our people need to develop to the next best version of themselves in sales, in marketing, in communication, in customer support and service because we have more franchisees. Each of those franchise locations have more customers and clients that are working out there. And the more, the bigger the company gets, the more complex it gets. And so our team here has to develop to the next best version of themselves. A great leader's job is to also help our team members develop. A great leader's job is also to understand that you could lead some people with the carrot and other people with the stick. You can't lead everyone with an iron fist and you can't inspire and motivate everyone either to the desired outcome. Some people, you know, you can lead them with the carrot and then you're like, hey, if you, know, if you do this, this is the outcome that you get. Other people like, it's the stick, like sometimes you have to be firm with them, you have to draw boundaries and you have to set expectations because they they may be really good. We had a sales guy in Fit Body Bootcamp many, many years ago. He was a savage at closing, but he was the most distractible guy on the planet. Like he could hear someone five cubicles away talking about something and he would just like, put the phone away, instead of dialing for dollars, he started paying attention to what they're talking about, get involved in that conversation. He just couldn't focus if his life depended on it. But mm -hmm. he was on, as soon as he was on a call with, with, a, with, a, with, with a prospect, he was closing that deal. Mm -hmm. We just needed him to have focus. So as a leader, Bryce's job would have been to help create boundaries, structure, let him know what might happen, consequences, if you keep doing that and you don't hit your quota of number of locations onboarded this month, and guess what? He wasn't able to get that number met, and mm -hmm. so we parted ways with him. Solid dude, good human. However, his ability to not follow instructions and structure from Bryce ended up getting him canned. The most valuable skills that leader has is to be able to translate a vision into an action, to be able to communicate with the team, to be able to develop a team to their next best versions of themselves that the company needs and to be able to know who to lead with the stick and who to lead with the carrot. And if you're able to do all that, then the next thing is how to manage, how to manage. Cause yes, leading is vision based. Managing is day to day. How do you make sure that people aren't gossiping or if there's any inter office scandal or, mm -hmm. or whatever drama, how do you make sure that that doesn't end up bleeding into the business, right? right? And so a leader has to be able to pull people aside and have heart to heart conversations sometimes or take them out to lunch or breakfast or whatever to have those things because you are also kind of a bit of a political figure. So there are politics in any big business. And so if you're a good leader, like I, I don't want office drama to get to me. 
If right. it gets to me, then Bryce has fucked something up royally, and if it's gotten to me. And so I only want to hear it months or years later when it was solved or it was terminated. Right. And so leader also has to know how to manage drama and things like that. And if they could do all that, um, the rest of it is just a byproduct of making money. Hey guys, quick interruption to the show. Let me tell you all about the Truly Wellness Shot. If you're like me and you care about your health, hydration, and building a strong immune system so you can stay active and you can get after it in life, then you wanna try the Truly Wellness Shot. I used to take 11 different supplements in the morning, things like vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B12, echinacea, ginger, and a whole bunch more. Now it's all included in the Truly Wellness Shot. I wanna send you a 30-day supply for 50% off. Just go to Trulene.com, use the code word Bedros, my name, to get 50% off. You'll also get free shipping. You get a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, and $1 of every order goes to Shriners Children's Hospital. And when you use the code word Bedros and do the subscribe and save, which is a Trulene Tribe program, every month you'll get a fresh supply of Trulene Wellness Shots for an additional 20% off and free shipping, and $1 of every monthly order will go to Shriners Children's Hospital. So go to Trulene.com. Com, use code word Bedros and take advantage of this amazing offer. Now back to the show. Got it. So what are some, I guess, um, cause I mean, you can think about a couple, like a, a manager or yeah. something like that. You can think of a couple different positions of, you know, where leadership will be required. Um, but what are some areas where maybe you think, cause people might be watching this and say, cool, I get it. Like I get how you can become a better leader and what makes you a great leader. Um, but where do I start? You know, I can't just go somewhere and just become a manager right. off the bat. So is it one of those things where, well, yeah, you need to start at the bottom and kind of work your way up, mm -hmm. or maybe you should be looking in this direction. Like kind of, where do they start? Fucking fantastic question. Most people forget that they already have people that they can lead and manage. The number mm -hmm. one person that you can lead and manage is you, right? Can you lead and manage? <laughs> like if your desire is to get fit, to be more charismatic, to wake up on time and meal prep. Can you do those three things? Can you lead yourself to the desired outcome? If you can't even lead yourself to the desired outcome in your life, how can you expect to lead and manage others? Mm -hmm. So can you lead and manage yourself? Can you manage your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, right? So the very first, if you look at it at bullseye, the very, per all of us are leaders. Some of, most of us are just, we're crappy leaders. If you look at most people, you go, oh, that person's fat, they have gelatinous titties, uh, they have uh, fucking milkable titties, and their car is disheveled, and they have no light in their eyes. They are a horrible leader of self, so they're gonna be horrible leaders in my company. I'm not gonna hire them. So the bullseye is I'm gonna start with leadership of self. And then, hey, you may not be a leader in a company, but the next ring on the bullseye is, are you leading your family well? Do you have family core values? Do you have a family vision? Are you guys locked on? Like look at Steve Eckhart, mm -hmm. Steve Eckhart. Um, he's got a you know, small business, does well for himself, but he doesn't just lead his business with his handful of employees. He leads his family so well. Like they have a family vision, they have core values, they have non-negotiables. And so one, lead yourself. Two, can you lead your family well? And if you're like, well, I'm not even the parent. That's okay. My son and my daughter, Andrew and Chloe, practice leadership all the time. They help make family decisions instead of just sitting there and waiting for a decision to be made. They help make family decisions, like our dog Cookie is getting older. They're like, ah, oh, you know, should we get a dog, should we not? And they help start making decisions, right? And so you could become a leader of self and of the people, friends, or family around you and practice these leadership skills that we talked about here so that when you start getting the opportunity, and let's say you're working in a business or someone else's business, and you're like, well, I'm just in charge of myself. I actually have a manager who manages me. Cool, what about your coworkers? Can you help just lead them along? Mm -hmm. Like figure out to how to make them more efficient. I've got a friend who's a bartender, and this friend is like, man, I figured out how to put the oranges right here so that when we're slicing them, it's easier to slice and then put that, put them here and blah, blah, blah. Whereas the other bartenders like have the box of oranges over there. So they go and get three oranges, slice them and then wash them and then put them here and then they go get three more. And so I was watching them and it's not my role to do this because I'm just a fellow bartender, but I started to, hey, well, if you bring, bring the box of oranges here and if you tip the box over where some of the oranges pour out, now you can be more efficient and wash and slice and put the oranges in the container a lot faster. Mm -hmm. That's leadership of your fellow coworkers without necessarily having the title of leadership or manager, right? And if you start doing that, then you start catching the eye of the people 
who can make that decision to ascend you into a leadership position, mm-hmm. and that's how you end up leading and managing others. I was just gonna say the last thing was was that. I was gonna say, well, that makes sense. If you actually did that, you'd probably get you know promoted eventually yeah. anyways, because they, you're already doing it without even having the title or getting paid more for it. Um, but I think the number one thing when people hear it will be like, well, I don't wanna do that because I'll be judged on, this guy thinks he's a big shot. You freaking came in after me. Like you're, right. you know what I mean? Like they'll right. be judged. And so that's also holding people back as well. I think. And see, and that's the thing, the self-talk. Mm-hmm. So literally we end up limiting our own growth, limiting our own possibilities because we start thinking, you know, man, they're gonna think I'm some big shot. They're gonna judge me. They're gonna hate me. Or they might be like, bro, thank you. Thank you for teaching them a more efficient way. Or let's say they do judge you, but the manager still sees that you're doing something to make the company or the business or the restaurant more efficient. Who cares? You have to stop worrying about what other people think and how they're gonna judge you and perceive you and start focusing on what you are called to do. And if you feel called to help this fellow bartender become more efficient at slicing and dicing oranges, then do it anyway. <laughs>